gonna get a couple sprays on my wrist. Check out the atomizer here. Pressurize, two sprays. I mean, just the best. Man. This is beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. In the air, this smells like top of the line. This smells like it's it's a luxury. It's it's royalty. It's it's an experience smelling an Argo fra Argo's fragrance. And in the air, I get this fruitiness, um, like a blend of beautiful fruits here. I get this uh, smooth vanilla sweetness as well in the air. A little bit of a, a kick of spice as well, just in the air. Like the experience is just fantastic. And, I, and I've had this with several, several, several uh, offerings from the House of Argos. Um, and this is just no different. This for me, it's just one of those ones, but we'll get into what I mean by that in just a second. But let's go ahead and get this, um, smell this off skin and have the conversation here. Oh my God, it's it's so well done, it's so, so well blended and so well crafted. The thing that I love the most about August fragrances is there is no sketchy, screechy openings. It just gets straight to it. Uh, the the level of uh, quality of oils that are being used in these fragrances are exceptional and you can smell it. If you've experienced Argos, you know exactly what I'm saying. Like if you haven't experienced it, you gotta get your nose on something from the house. I mean anything. You can get your nose on anything. Don't take my word for it. Get you a sample. If you wanna blind buy, do your thing. Um, but I recommend sampling everything. But fruity, smooth, sweet, uh, uh, very nice, warm, spicy tones. This is definitely a colder weather scent for sure. I think you can wear this in three seasons. I'm gonna put spring in there as well. Maybe like on spring, evening, fall, of course, winter, of course. Definitely wouldn't try this in the summertime. You probably could kind of monitor your sprays, but that's just me. Um, but this is an EDP concentration. And again, I, that, that fruitiness, that sweetness, that, still, that, that spicy pop that's up top is just beautiful. This is my speed because I'm not a fan of super sickly sweet fragrances or gourmands. They have to be done a certain type of way and this is done the right way. And my favorites from the house of Vasya and Martel, that beautiful raspberry leather style of a fragrance, beautiful. And of course, uh, Trifle Bach is uh, the original EDP. I have never smelled it straight, um, but the EDP is, is, is good. But there's others like Danae and uh, Palace of Athene, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, Love Triumph of a War, it's great. Um, so many different great offerings from the house. But I must say, this is definitely in the top five that I've ever experienced. Maybe even top three. Trifle Bacchus, Basile and Martel are one and two, but this is challenging it for sure. So let's go ahead and get into the notes and really dig into what this fragrance has to offer. So here we are with the main accords. Woody, sweet, fruit, fruity, spicy, and smoky. Um, up top, you get bergamot, clove, ginger, grapefruit, peach, pepper tree, and tangerine. And the heart, cinnamon, which you definitely get a beautiful, airy, uh, sweet and spicy effect from the cinnamon. Iris, jasmine, patchouli, rose, tuberose, and violet. And in the base, um, some of the standout notes from Argos fragrances. Uh, amber, benzoin, cashmere wood is definitely one of them. Opapanox, sandalwood is another one. Tonka bean, vanilla, and vetiver. Healthy note breakdown, some of my favorite notes. When you hear the opening of this thing with the bergamot, the uh, uh, grapefruit, the peach, and the tangerine, Argos does peach so well. The beautiful white peach that's in Trifobacchus up top really stands out. And the peach here stands out as well as the opening really gets itself together. Like now, I'm picking up the, the peach. I'm picking up um, still that sweet and spicy tone from the ginger and the cinnamon. The vanilla, this stuff is sexy, man. It's sexy, um, it, it, it's, it smells like confidence. Um, it is not shy, but it is very, very, like, just very pleasant. It's very pleasant. And I think this, you know, I think this is unisex. I think it's, I'm gonna say right down the middle, 
Men and women both can wear this. So ladies, if you're interested in this, please get your sample. Uh, check it out for yourself and see if it's something that you will be willing to uh, you know, experience. And this is and this is this is something where you know if you appreciate um, artistry, if you appreciate um, quality, then you're going to appreciate this. Now, what I love about Argos is the Greek mythology that is used to tell the different stories. Hence the packaging, as you see, um, I think it's Prometheus, uh, the Titan God of Fire. I believe that is the name but i just been going with god of fire hence the name sacred flame um and uh christian and his team does a great job telling these stories i mean inside of the casing you have the story of the titan god of fire right here on the inside i'm not going to read it right now but when we have christian on we'll expound on um the story and i'm sure he has some gems and some nuggets uh for us um, with just the creation, which I can't wait to get into uh, when we talk to him about Sacred Flame and of course some of my other favorites. But this one right here, again, rating this just off the rip, I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 